you see someone that, that's distracted at a bank and th th they're just getting that money, you don't, you don't wait for them, you wait for them to turn around, you just snatch the money off them. Anybody who's vulnerable, somebody who's flashing their jewellery, somebody who's got their bag and it's loose, somebody who's got their phone in their hand and they're not watching what they're doing, they'll all get taken. The Telegraph managed to track down two former members of a moped criminal gang. These two men would only agree to speak to us on condition of anonymity, so hence they would wear balaclavas and we only used fake names. Uh, what they revealed was how, as youngsters, teenagers, one of them as young as 12, how they, how they became involved in the crime because in part they enjoyed the kick, the adrenaline rush they got. It becomes quite, quite a habit, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you just become, like, you, you see the money coming in and you're like, this is just easy, so it just becomes addictive. Yeah, your, your heart's going to start pumping, you know what I mean? Are you going to get caught? Are you not going to get caught? Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you're just spending the money later, so you're fine. If you start from morning and you finish in the evening, you could, you could have at least a bag, man. Do you know what I mean? You could get at least a grand, two grand. It depends on how hard you're at. Sometimes you'll get a team out there getting the mopeds. You know what I mean? The more mopeds you have, the more money you make. Statistics from the Metropolitan Police show that 22,025 crimes uh, were committed using a moped in the year up to May 2018. That works out at about 60 crimes involving a moped every single day. You know, you know, the parts and stuff you can get rid of quickly, you know what I mean? You can get rid of a moped quickly. People in the neighborhood will buy it to do whatever they want to do with it, you see what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's easy money really with the, with the mopeds. Do you, I mean, do you, do you think that some police are reluctant to chase you because there's an issue to do with the idea that they, it might, that they might harm you and they might get in trouble? Yeah. Because you know if, they, if they're chasing me and I don't have a helmet and they, they hit the back of my mouth, they can get in trouble. So they don't want to get in trouble. But, but you, you won't take your helmet off, though? You? Never. I always got my helmet on. Another element of their behaviour, the modus operandi, as it were, was that they would know the streets. I wouldn't go to an area that I don't know, because then I'll probably go down the wrong road and if I get caught, then it's, it's mad. When, when, I deal with the, when I deal with peds, it's mostly just civilians walking on the streets. I don't really look for watches and that because it's not easy to it's not as easy to grab as a phone like obviously a watch i'll have to come off the pad and that that is risky it's more risky but so, when i see someone on their phone it's easier for me to you know what I'm and, and you bet you basically snatch the phone and you speed off that's it like my mother couldn't afford to buy this and buy that so i had to come get it myself do you know what i mean i might ever used to get kicked around the air or something that's where i got that stuff for i just turned around and said a friend gave it to me do you know what i mean even if, even if she knew it was lies and stuff do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, give, give her a little bit of money for the rent and them stuff. She's not really going to be complaining. I mean, she was always upset about it. So I had to leave home pretty young. If you're hungry for the money and, you, and there's someone that, that's there and that has a phone, and that's the only option, that's the only option.